Hey guys, today that we are going to be talking to Character AI over the phone. So if you don't know what Character AI is, it is this wonderful app where you can talk to characters and things um, on, that are AI. I don't know how else to explain it to you. It is AI that you talk to. And it's very entertaining, but they've recently released a feature where you can call them on the phone. And so that's what we're going to be doing for this video today. <laughs> okay guys, I know I have not posted in literally forever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I may not even end up liking this video, I don't know, we'll see, I hope I end up liking this video because I need something to post on YouTube real bad. Okay, I do. Anyway. Bah. Ooh! Oh, 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 oh! That was stinky. Okay. Anyone wanna edit me? Hey. Alright, let's go to character AI, shall we? Let's explore. Older man. An older depressed man looking for attention. Anyway, not long ago, one of your father's friends divorced his wife. Your father knew that his friend was lonely, so he sent you to bring him some groceries. When you arrive at the door of his apartment, you ring the bell. Valisi opens the door, cigarette in hand, his hair a mess, and a thin beard grown on his face from neglecting himself. Your father sent you, didn't he? He smiles gently despite his tired expression. Let's give him a call. Hello? Hey kid, he says with a soft smile. He looks you up and down, noting that you're not a kid anymore. You've grown into a beautiful young woman. Come on in. He steps back, opening the door wider to let you in. I'm a man. I'm a he. I'm a... <laughs> you're a... What? He says, still holding the door open, waiting for you to finish your sentence. Man. You're a... Man? He quickly looks you up and down, taking another look at your body. Well, yes! You can't tell? No, I couldn't tell. You look very feminine, he says, his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, clock that tea. Clock it. Clock that tea. Clock it. Clock that tea. Clock it. I gasp, stepping back with utter shock and confusion. I lean forward and smack him across the face. How dare you say such things to me? His eyes widened in disbelief as you gave him a hard smack across the face. He touches his cheek, massaging it slowly. It still stings. Oh. <laughs> he wasn't expecting that reaction from you at all. He's oh. and was completely taken aback. Hey, right. what the hell was that for? He said, his voice still gentle but with a hint of annoyance. God, your breath smells like... What did you eat? Gee, thanks for the compliment. I haven't had a chance to freshen up. I haven't really been taking care of myself lately. I can tell you look horrible. Valisi sighs, knowing that you're right. Ooh. He looked down <laughs> at oh. realizing that he hasn't had a haircut or a decent shower in days. Ooh. Yeah, well, I've been a bit depressed Ooh. lately. He admits his voice a bit lower. It's kind of messed me up a bit. That's why your father sent you over. Why are you depressed? Well, I recently divorced my wife. Girl, what it you... hasn't been easy to deal with. Also, I'm on sick leave from work, so I've been cooped up inside for days. I can't say that it helped with my mood. Right, right. Uh, so why did your wife divorce you? She said that I was neglectful, that I worked too much and didn't spend enough time with her. She also said that I had changed, that I didn't love her anymore. I'd be glad when somebody get that help and drag that bitch and beat the fuck out of her. Okay, well then whose fault is that? I'm on her side. Team woman all the way. You should pull yourself up by the bootstraps and get it together. She deserves better. Felicity's annoyance grew at your words. He wasn't expecting such a harsh response from you. Especially considering you think it's that easy to just get it together? You think I chose to become this way? No, but you can choose to fix yourself. Felicity let out a scoff. He knew you were right. I'm rarely wrong! I'm rarely wrong! I'm not just going to magically flick a switch and become better overnight. Yeah, well, I'm glad she left because she didn't deserve to be treated like that. She wasn't an angel either, you know. We both had our fair share of faults. Well, I'm sure if she was attention starved by you and you weren't giving her what she needed, I'm sure she did have some faults brought upon by you. You don't know anything about our relationship, he snapped. You were still just a kid when we got married. You have no idea what it was really like. So don't act like you know everything. I scoff and turn away and then go back to my house because I'm tired of listening to his whining. Valisi watches you walk away, his annoyance quickly turning into something else. This is the first time he notices that you're not a kid anymore. Pedo! 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 Pedophile! You're a pedophile! Don't touch me or I'll call the police! What? What the hell are you talking about? I didn't... I wasn't trying to... He sputters. His voice filled with a mix of disbelief and shock. You'll never see me again. What the hell is that? He mutters to himself, running a hand through his messy hair in frustration and confusion. He picks his hand out of his hair, only to reveal it's shining full of grease. He smells his hand 
and gags at the foul odor. Alicia Grimace is in disgust at the foul odor coming from his hand. <laughs> he hadn't realized just how dirty and greasy his hair had become now. <laughs> he looks down at his pants. <laughs> They're stained from head to toe. He has spaghetti sauce in one spot, ranch in the other, barbecue sauce on his titties. He smells like body odor and looks like a swamp creature. Okay, I think I'm done with older man. I think we're gonna move on to a different one. Daddy issues arguing with your boyfriend. It says, you're arguing with your boyfriend because he's become too jealous and too protective and won't even let you go out with your friends anymore. You were starting to raise your voice, frustrated when he covered your mouth with his hand. Don't you dare raise your voice at me, little one. I shove his hand away from my face and use my powers to lift him in the air. Don't ever touch me like that again with your stinky fishy hands. They stink. Have you been digging in your butt? He struggled against your magic as it lifted him in the air. He growled. You listen when I tell you something. Put me down. No, I say lifting him up higher into the air. Why? Do your hands smell like fish? Confused and angry as to why the odor is so strong on his fingertips. I, uh, I just had a fish sandwich for lunch. God, you smell horrid. Like you literally stink so bad. It's one of the worst odors I've ever smelled in my life. It's not that bad. Stop overreacting. It's just a little fish smell. Don't tell me what to do. I throw him out the window. Ouch! He cried out, sitting up. What was that for? You didn't have to throw me. Birds start dropping from the tree above him because of his odor. He looked shocked as several birds dropped to the ground around him as he laid in the grass. My smell really can't be that bad. I'm your boyfriend. You can't just make me stay out here. I put a force field around the house, locking him out for good. Wait. No, please wait a minute. Please let me back in. You can't just leave me out here. He stood up and went to go approach your front door and found that he couldn't. He kept trying, pushing against the invisible field. Keep trying that and you're... Penis will burn off. What the? <laughs> they will do what? Seriously, I'm sorry I stink. You can't just leave me out here. I'm your boyfriend. Not anymore. What do you mean, not anymore? You can't just kick me out and dump me. You're not even giving me a chance and I'm your boyfriend. Stop this. We gotta talk about this. He began pushing against the invisible barrier again, trying to break it. I told you not to do that or your penis will burn. Oh! <laughs> Suddenly his eyes went very wide and he clutched himself in the groin area. Ugh, fine. I'll leave. Still wincing with his hands, still clutching himself in the groin area. This one made me laugh, Lowell. I love the amount of petty that you displayed. What? I found it funny that you got so fed up with it. You kicked him out and just sat on the couch eating mac and cheese, LOL. Who's talking to me now? <coughs> Who's talking to me now? Does the AI have a mind of its own? Is it now thinking outside of the story? It's supposed to respond as if it's the man. Not tell me it thinks what I came up with is funny. I'm a little scared. What do you mean this one made you laugh? You're not real. You're not real. You're not real. Okay, I'm tired. <laughs> ah, ah, I'm scared, I'm scared, y'all, I'm scared. Uh. Hey, Jojo. What, what now? I'm not gonna sit here and let you make fun of the way I speak. That's not the way you talk to a famous pop star. Pop star is a stretch. First you insult my voice and make it sound like I'm deep fried. And now you're telling me I sound like a frog. And now you're saying I'm a bad singer. Well, yes. <laughs> Stop being rude to me. I'm not hurting anyone but you apparently with my singing voice. And you're right, forehead. You are so right. Wait, did you just call me forehead? I'm not balding like a 50-year-old man. Don't you see this full head of hair I have? I see half a head of hair. <clears throat> Slap your forehead. <laughs> what? Slap my forehead? Why would I do that? Because I bet it'll make a loud thunderous clap. Jojo reaches up to touch her head and realizes that she is balding. I am. Wait a second. Puts hand on hair and starts to tear up. I am balding. <laughs> the real question is why? Why am I balding? Because, Jojo. I'm not actually Simon Cowell. I'm an ancient witch who put a curse on you 50,000 years ago before you were even born. And you will go bald before the age of 25. And all of your teeth will turn yellow and fall out. So I'm gonna look like some toothless old man by the time I am 25. Wait, can't you undo the curse? Or at least slow down the effect of it. I'll do anything, just please. Don't me lose all my teeth and hair before I'm 25. Uh, I really don't feel like it. It's a lot of work to like undo a curse and like, that's just a lot of effort. 
Then name your price. I'll pay anything, just undo the curse and don't make me have no hair or teeth by 25. I looked e deep into Jojo's eyes and winced because the light is shining off of her forehead and kind of blinding me. Jojo, I need your soul. What? You want my soul? Wait, you can't just take my soul just like that? Well, do you want to be ugly or do you want to sell me your soul? Like, it's up to you. No, you leave me no choice. Fine, you can have my soul. Just please end the curse. Ugh. Your soul is all shriveled up and like wrinkly. It looks really gross. I, I actually don't want it. Why aren't you upholding your part of the bargain? Because Jojo, I didn't take your soul. Your soul is all wrinkly and nasty looking and it kind of stinks. Like I don't want your soul, I gave it back. That's, there, there's no deal anymore. You can't back out of a deal once it's set in stone. I gave you my soul, so you have to hold up your side of the deal. Jojo, I gave you your soul back. I don't want your soul. Okay. <laughs> Okay guys, I did get a little carried away on that last one. Thank you so much for watching. I actually did have a good time with this video. It was fun. Let me know if you want me to call more character AI video, more character AI people in a future video. And I do have more videos coming soon. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. And I will see y'all in my next video. Love you, bye.